Hi there, my name is uh, Jason Natchew. I'm the Associate Professional from the Edmonton Country Club. Today I'm going to talk to you about which clubs you should be hitting uh, when you go to the driving range in the spring or really any time you go out to practice. Uh, last week we talked about the five stretches you should be doing, um, especially right beginning of the season to avoid injury. Um, so basically we're going to pick up from there. So you've gone to the range, you've done your stretches, you're feeling good and limber. Um, most players, if you go to a driving range, the tendency is their first club they're going to pull out is the driver. Okay. Um, Likely, if you want to end yourself, that's the right club to pick because you're going to be swinging your hardest, you're going to be making the biggest turn, and likely, uh, unless you did some really good stretching or you, you practiced through the winter, you're going to hurt yourself. So I'm going to give you some recommendations of what clubs to uh, start with and how to work through your set. So uh, beginning, I'd like to, I would say start with something like a, a sand wedge or a, a gap wedge or a pitching wedge. Um, you're looking for a club that you can just swing about half swings, really going to be hitting like pitch shots. So um, don't even feel like you're making full shots. Uh, you're just going to be going about halfway back and halfway through, okay? Making nice full swings or full finishes as you go through. I'd probably hit about eight, ten shots that way. Then I'd move up to a full swing with this same club. Um, and probably hit about eight to ten shots again with just with just a full swing with with the sand wedge. From there, I'd move up to a little bit less loft. Uh, we'd go to a pitching wedge or a um, even like a nine iron, eight iron. Okay, you're now you've stretched out enough that you can make full swings. But again, we don't want to go to the driver quite yet, just because we haven't made those full full swings that we will with the driver with that longer club. So we have an eight iron. Uh, again, you're just making nice full swings. Don't really feel. Rarely do you need to make a full swing to hit it well. Uh, that's just an extra tip. Make a make a nice. Almost feels like half swing, and you're gonna make some good contact. Again, do about eight to ten shots. In a normal bucket, you're gonna have a hundred. So if you're going through your whole set, you'll probably hit about eight, seven or eight shots, and you can hit every single club through your set. Okay, from the eight iron, we're gonna then move to a little bit longer iron or maybe a hybrid if you have, uh, say like a five iron or a four hybrid or three hybrid. And uh, you're just going to, again, hit some more shots with that. Now you're gonna be a little bit longer, the club's longer, so therefore your swing's longer. Okay, getting closer to that driver that you really wanted to hit. All right, you got fairway woods. Let's uh, let's grab a fairway wood. You got three wood or five wood, seven wood. Again, you're getting near the end of your balls. Uh, you probably have both 30, 20 to 30 golf balls left. You're going to hit some fairway woods. Again, same type of swing. Don't feel like you're over. Have to overswing to hit it far. All right, and the last one, the big stick, the one that you've been. Uh, Dying to try, you probably spent your three or four hundred dollars on it during the winter, got it for your Christmas present. It's time now to use this club. Your body's stretched out, you've done your stretches, you've hit lots of clubs. If it's warm out, chances are you're ready for, for this club uh, and it's time. And you're probably going to hit it better as a result. All right? All right, so that's, uh, that's the order you should go. You should even use that throughout the season, and you'll probably see better results um, as a result.